Hello, I'm John Muir Laws. I'm a wildlife biologist, an artist, and an explorer. And I am profoundly moved, influenced, and inspired by the work of Tony Foster. And I've got an opportunity to take you through one of my favorite foster journeys. It's called Exploring Beauty, Watercolor Diaries from the Wild. And what I'm going to be doing is giving you from my perspective as somebody who loves hiking around and exploring, going on adventures, why this gets me excited. As a scientist, why this gets me excited. As an artist, why I'm so inspired by this work. And so I'm going to bring those three perspectives and we're going to go through a series of paintings together. And I'm going to show you why it moves me and give you perhaps not, I'm not saying like this is what you should notice about it, but this is just if you can get inside my brain and look out through my eyes, this is what I see when I'm looking at Tony's work. I first got connected with Tony about 30 years ago. I was working at a science museum, the California Academy of Sciences, and one of my coworkers burst through the door and shook me and said like, there's this show downtown in San Francisco. You have to see it. I'm not going to tell you and uh, let's go. So that, uh, right after work, we took off. We went downtown San Francisco. This piece was one of the ones in it, and it was, it was a, a series of Tony Foster paintings from the High Sierra. I have spent so much of my life exploring in this range of mountains, and when I saw this, I said, yeah, he gets this place. There is a sense of place that you get from looking at these drawings that only comes from somebody who's spent deep time and really deep observation. And this, this painting, for instance, it, there's this massive landscape. When you're in the Sierra Nevada, you're overwhelmed by the magnificence of it. But then that at your feet is this beautiful little wildflower. And the, the feeling of the rocks underfoot. And all of this is reflected there. What I see as I look at this paintings and, and we'll be seeing throughout the show is the way that Tony Foster brings the level of love and respect for the land, for the geology. He's not going to paint a mountain. He's going to paint this mountain. And it's different than from this mountain. And, and his brush strokes give each one of those peaks its due respect. So too with the little organisms that you find around the side. And anybody who spent time running around in the mountains, we know topo maps intimately. I find little insets of topo maps that are hand drawn on these maps here. And here's a little profile showing me the names of all the peaks. If you spent time in these mountains, you spent time with your own map figuring out, oh, that's this, that's this, that's this, you get yourself oriented. All of that sense of place, I find in this artwork. I'm gonna take you through a wonderful Tony Foster journey that is held in the curated collection of the Foster Museum. And I'm gonna show you from my perspective as a scientist, an artist, and an explorer, why I get just so jazzed about this work. The, the beauty, the profound sense of place, the, the details and the artistic mastery that comes out in these. There's one other factor that also infuses all this work, and that is there's a sense of love of the landscape and a desire to protect it. So I want to help you see what I see as some of the connections between Tony Foster's work and the work of stewardship and care of the earth, and I hope you will join me. Thank you so much.